In this video, I would introduce our recent work on panoramic video streaming, the title of which is Deep Vista 16K Panoramic Cinema on a Mobile Device. The authors are from HKUST, University of Minnesota, and George Mason University. First, let's take a quick look at 360 videos. This is a full screenshot of a panoramic video in cube projection, the resolution of which is 8K. We also call this resolution and ultra high definition. When we look at the field of view, a user can perceive it's still high resolution, but remember that this field of view contains both the eye focus and the peripheral vision. When we zoom into the eye focus, it's not high definition anymore. So where is the bottleneck? Viewers suffer from blurry pictures because of insufficient pixel density. Of course, increasing the resolution would help, but it's challenging. First, the decoding part is challenging for mobile devices. According to some medical studies, people with a normal eyesight would require more than 3,000 pixels within one square degree area. With this pixel density, 16K resolution is required. We conduct some decoding performance study on mobile devices and we show the results on the right. Each row corresponds to the total resolution we need to decode and each column corresponds to the pieces we divide this video into and the number of threads we used to decode the video. The first finding is that 16K video decoding is not supported by mobile devices. This finding holds true for most of the, for all the devices we have tested. Second, the transmission is also challenging for the networking part, and 16K video requires a bit rate as high as 300 megabits per second. It's not even affordable for Wi-Fi. And tile-based solution is quite popular for panoramic video streaming. First, let's see, is it possible to achieve 16K video streaming with tile-based tile -based solutions? First, transmission and decoding area is smaller using this solution. And we see that 8K video decoding is supported by mobile devices. So can we decode 8K to playback 16K? With tile-based solution, smaller tiles leads to smaller wasted area. So it may be possible with fine-grained tile segmentation. But that's hundreds of tiles. The second finding is that fine-grained tile segmentation decreases the decoding performance as we can see from the table from left to the right. The FPS is decreasing. The conclusion is that small decoding area and high decoding performance are conflicting conditions. So then 16K support is hard to achieve with tile-based solutions. So let's introduce Deep Vista, the first viewport adaptive transcoding solution. With Deep Vista, it extracts, extracts FOV region from the 16K frame which fully covers the viewport and can be fit into an 8K frame losslessly. We have edge servers that reorganizes the viewport. As shown in the figure, the red part is the viewport, and we would divide the whole frame into 600 blocks, and we find that each viewport can never cover more than 150 blocks. So we can reorganize the 16K resolution frame into an 8K field of view stream. We offline generate an orientation to blocks map. So each entry has a K and a K and value pair. The K is the orientation and the values are the blocks that the user can perceive. So they are in total 100. 81 times 361 entries with each entry
having 150 blocks. Note that this is a special case shown here, as the field of view is a, rec is a rectangle area, but it's not the common case. Most of times, the field of view area is irregular shape. We use the CUDA to efficiently move those blocks in GPU memory. Finally, when client receives the field of view stream, it decodes the stream and renders the block according to the map, with which reorganizes the blocks back so we can perceive a normal frame. This shows the Deep Vista architecture. We have a normal dash server enabled which holds the content. And we have an edge server, which does the transcoding. And we have a client do the playback. As we can see that there are two GPUs in the edge server because one GPU are, is not enough for the decoding and the transcoding. So we divide the whole 16K video into two halves. For each half, we have one GPU do the decoding, do the reorganizing, and do the uh, encoding. Between those two GPUs, there are some data exchange during the, during the block reorganizing stage. We also have some viewport prediction, read adaptation, and uh, uh, motion sensing modules in our system. There are some other designs like we have a deep learning based viewport prediction with two LSTM models, one for latitude prediction and another one for longitude prediction. We use the most recent samples to do the prediction and uh, that mod those models takes low resource footprint and runtime. For a single reference inference, it takes 20 milliseconds for GPU, for CPU and 3 milliseconds for GPU. Also, we have a viewport stream and a panoramic stream coordination under network fluctuations. When the high resolution viewport stream is not delivered on time, the low resolution panoramic stream is played to a wide saw. And we also got a resync mechanism. When the edge server skips transcoding of several, uh, the edge server would skip transcoding of several VS frames to catch up. Also, we have a MPC based rate adaptation method for real time transcoding. The edge server transcodes the VS into one of the M qualities and a virtual trunk which is a group of 10 consecutive frames, is the smallest granularity of VS rate adaptation. So the optimization is, a dis is discrete, and the overall target, which is the QE, is the weighted sum of five metrics, as we will describe later. First, let's take a look at the overall evaluation results. With one GPU, we can achieve 8K at 60 FPS video playback. With two GPUs, we can achieve 16K and 30 FPS video playback. Compared to fetching the panoramic video soon, Deep Vista reduces the last mile bandwidth consumption by 52% to 69%. The perceptual quality is closely to visual virally lossless and we achieve us SSM higher than 089 over Wi-Fi and 5G networks for 16K playback. The QE metrics we used are the, the viewport stream quality level, the high resolution ratio, the consumed VS block ratio, the skipped frame ratio and the temporal switch ratio. We compare Deep Vista and its simple version, which is without the read adaptation and unthrottled Wi-Fi, 
and which achieve some quite good results. Also, we achieve we observe similar results under live LTE and 5G networks. For detailed explanation of the QE metrics and the results, please refer to our paper. We also compare our system to some state-of-the-art existing panoramic video streaming system. Since none of them support 16K video streaming, the comparisons are conducted under 8K. First, we compare our, our system with state-of-the-art tile-based system, and we greatly outperform it in, term of, in terms of consume block tile ratio, downloaded bytes, and stall. We also compare with state-of-the-art transcoding approach, which also has edge server do the rendering and streams the FOV, and, but with some quality degradation. degradation. And uh, under the same setup, the SSM of DeepVista is significantly better. We have some discussions want to share with you. The question, first question is, how can Deep Vista scale to multiple users? Video transcoding is inherently resource demanding. For large-scale de deployment, we can provision resources at the internet edge, where each player has dedicated GPU resources with low latency. Similar to today's cloud gaming service, such as Google Stadia. Another problem is, would Deep Vista's design still be valuable in the future? The first, uh, we think the reason, we think the answer is yes. The first reason is that we specialized hardware that may appear supporting 16K video decoding in the future, but mobile devices are less likely to be capable of decoding it. The second reason is that Deep Vista can also drastically reduce the last mile bandwidth consumption, which is quite valuable. The conclusion is that Deep Vista is the first consumer class 16K 360 degree video streaming solution, which brings cinematic panoramic content to end users with no more distinguishable pixels, no more stall and 5G networks. The key design includes GPU accelerated viewport adaptive transcoding, MPC based robust, robust strategies for QE enhancement, and deep learning powered viewport prediction. Thanks for watching.